Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Sky and this is the first episode of our new series in which we are going to learn how to make an Asteroids game using C++ and the SFML library. So we have used SFML quite a few times on this channel. We have made a Mario game with it and a Pong game with it. And if you are new to C++ or SFML, I've got a series on both of those. So you should probably check those out. And uh, the links, you'll find them in the description. And the, the other thing is that if you don't know how SFML works or you want to learn the basics, I've got a Pong game course with SFML as well, along with a beginner Mario and an advanced Mario series. So if you want, you can watch those. And once you know the basics, you if you know the basics, you can get started with this series and in this series we are going to make an asteroids game which is a pretty simple and common game and making that should help you learn a lot of stuff and uh, while it will be very simple uh, to like look at it will actually be very complex and will uh, you know have a bunch of different systems for example player player movement along with stuff like collision detection and uh, velocity of balls and ray casting not exactly ray casting since we are going to use uh, different things but we will have a lot of uh, uh, different systems in this game and that should help you get a grasp of uh, what it feels like to make a game with C++ and SFML and uh, yeah let's get started with this so you can see I'm going to I have opened up Visual Studio here and of course this is just my personal choice if you want you can use anything you at all that you want you can use uh, any other IDE like VS code or something else uh, you can use whatever you like and it's gonna be pretty similar to this so I am using Visual Studio I'm going to create actually not an empty project we are gonna create a console app with a main file included in it and you can call this whatever you like and I'm going to just call it asteroids so asteroids and now we are going to just hit this create button and that should begin creating the project. So as you can see I have got uh, my project opened up in consists of currently a single file and it's uh, basically the main files. I'm going to remove these unnecessary comments and uh, basically remove all of that and now we've got like a basic hello world program here now of course we want to use SFML in this and SFML is going to help us draw graphics and also set up different things and of course we want to implement that however the problem with all of this is that you might not have SFML set up quite yet and uh, for me what I prefer to do is to use a package manager now if you're on Linux or Mac I think also you can use any uh, the package manager that your system provides it should be pretty simple to go ahead and install SFML as it's uh, present on almost every package manager and then you should be able to configure your compiler to use the libraries if you are on Windows then when the when you are using Visual Studio or VS Code then what I would recommend is that you use VC package which is uh, like a package manager visual C++ package manager by uh, by Microsoft I think and uh, it's pretty good and it's got like everything and if you're using Visual Studio you can automatically install it and it will integrate everything automatically so if I go under asteroids and then go under properties what you want to make sure is that in here we have got VC package option you want to make sure that you have got use VC package enabled so that we actually use VC package and also we are going to switch to x86 here because I have got the 32 bit version of SFML installed and you can of course use 64 bit if you've got the 64 bit SFML installed now if you cannot use VC package for whatever reason then what you can do is you can set up SFML manually and you can uh, set up uh, you know I've got a tutorial on learning how to set up SFML on um, Visual Studio and uh, the steps should be pretty similar for setting up in you know, other stuff as well so you can basically download it from the website anyways once you have got SFML set up and since I've done this with visual, uh, VS VC package I don't need to do any extra steps and I can just say hashtag include and in here uh, if I type in SFML you can see that that folder does indeed exist and the file we are going to include is going to be graphics.hpp I'm going to include that and then we are going to remove this uh, hello world line that we have got here and in this video we are going to get started with the very basics and just set up uh, an empty window and uh, uh, yeah that, that's pretty much all we are gonna do in order to create a, an empty window we are going to create an instance of the class sf colon colon window which is going to be window and uh, we're going to just call it window and we're going to create an SF video mode which is uh, used to define our windows dimensions which is going to be 1200 by 900 you can also specify an optional bits per pixel parameter which we are going to leave at the default value then we are going to specify the title as asteroids tutorial and for the style I'm going to uh, take the close and combine it with title bar we do not want the default style because I do not really want this window to be resizable because that would just call a bunch of problems that we'll have to deal with because if we make it resizable it we will have to deal with different window sizes and let's just make it not resizable and in here we are going to run a while loop while the window is open 
and we are going to create an SF event called E and while we keep getting that window dot poll event E we are going to say if that E dot type is equal to SF event closed and if that is the case we are going to say window dot close and yeah that's pretty awesome so now let's go ahead and the the problem is that we want to draw into this window and by default the SF window class does not provide a dis drawing functionality but the render window class does so we are going to switch this window to the render window everything stays the same but it has a bunch of different methods now what we can do is we can do window dot clear uh, which will clear the window by default with color black you can specify a custom color if you want and then we will uh, display the window in the end and between this we need to draw our game now our game may be running at a variety of different computers and some of them are fast and some are slow so in order to make sure that our game runs at the correct speed we need to make sure we use something called delta time and you should be pretty familiar with how it works in game loops if you have ever done game programming before uh, it basically will allow us to make sure our game is frame rate independent so we are going to mm, go ahead and say and if you have not done it before then you can check out some of the beginner series that I have made so we are going to create an SF clock called clock and in here in the beginning we are going to say our delta time is equal equal to clock dot restart uh, which will and dot as seconds because this is an SF time we need to get that as seconds and this will mean that uh, we will basically restart, restart the clock and which will give us the time that has passed since the last restart so it will basically give us the time that uh, one frame took and in here we also need to update our game then clear the window then draw our game uh, a bit of a mistake I made here we actually don't need to do this in the event loop because that is like event uh, where we are handling the events we need to do it in the main window dot is open loop so uh, control if I actually press that uh, yeah it's not working so uh, let me paste this here and yes so you can see we have got uh, this uh, we are going to update our win uh, game then clear the window then draw our game and then display the window so for the actual game logic uh, we will implement that stuff in the next video so stay tuned for that because in the next video we will get started with our game for layer a uh, rail and in this video we are going to learn a lot of stuff like polygonal intersections and collision detection and also vector drawing with SFML and a bunch of different stuff so stay tuned for that I'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well so you don't miss this video and uh, bye